Hi Libra, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot with your love reading for January 2018. Happy New Year. Uh, please do visit my website, moonpietarot.com. Uh, I have two special readings going on there. I also have other readings. The two specials are the 2018 New Year Ahead reading and also how the other person feels about you. So if you're interested in them, do check them out. You can also follow me on Instagram for weekly general readings at Moon Pie Tarot, also on Twitter and Facebook, or just download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. Um, you guys can call me on the app from 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, to get instant answers to questions any questions you may have or you can so you can chat with me there or you can text me or you can actually call me um, and I will get right back to you so let's get started with your reading um, and you know what I didn't say this in the Aries reading but I just wanted to tell you guys I am using the crystal visions tarot deck and I plan to be using this for the rest of the year. I may mix and mingle with different things, but I just wanted to let you know. It's by Jennifer Galasso. I'm sorry. Very beautiful deck. I love it very much. So, Libra, you're, you're reading. Wow. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight major arcana cards. And that is just absolutely amazing to me, <laughs> really. And um, so the major arcana cards are always cards that talk about, you know, really these are energies that are difficult to change. Um, the minor arcana cards are much more easier to manipulate and change things around. But I feel like you guys have a steadfast reading for January, uh, maybe setting the tone for the new year. So let's see what's going on. So you're starting with the seven of pentacles here. So this is energy of assessing a situation. Maybe you're looking at the past or looking at the past year and trying to figure out, uh, you know, did things go the way you wanted it to go? Uh, did things work out in your favor? What things didn't work out in your favor? It's kind of like taking stock, taking inventory. Um, I see you starting off on a new foot, a new footing during this time frame. Um, and I just see you reevaluating. Maybe some of you have put some resolutions into place about what changes you want to make for the new year. And, and I see you really pausing to reevaluate your next steps um, in love and your life in general. Um, and I, you probably put in a lot of hard work in a situation or a relationship in the past. Some of you may be in a marriage with the Ten of Pentacles uh, or this energy of, you know, <clears throat> even though this is a love reading, could have a lot to do. Like a lot of you may have just been focused on work in the past year and really just like not really dealing wanting to deal with any struggles in relationships you've just been focusing on your goals and your dreams and i see you carrying that uh, into the new year and reassessing you have a very positive attitude okay some of you may be now thinking about maybe getting involved in a relationship or committing to someone or talking with your partner about something like that like uh, taking it to the next level now the past situation I see that you were really trusting your intuition and trusting your gut. The moon card always talks about uh, the light being shed on things. So maybe in the past month, you, you began to see uh, a bit more clearly. Not You weren't in the complete dark, but things were starting to come to fruition for you that you, you were able to see the path a bit better um, that was ahead of you. Um, And really just like relying on your instinct to find your way. Okay. Um, and I feel like that brought you, that energy now is bringing you to this present situation where you have the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love, new key emotional developments, something new probably in the beginning of this month. Some of you may be experiencing maybe some of you are going on dates or or your relationship is beginning to improve or, or it's just this overall feeling 
of something getting better uh, in your love life in general. You, now, you're listening to this reading, and so it may not have happened just yet, so give it till the end of the month to let this play out. But this can also represent new love or um, an outpouring of emotions or renewal of a past love or renewal of love in a relationship. And also you getting to this place where you're starting to acknowledge and express your feelings you're being more empathetic towards others or fine-tuning your intuition okay and so this is great because this card also talks about new partnerships marriages new spiritual emotional growth or fixing a relationship from the past where i was saying you know taking stock with the seven of pentacles and looking to see okay how did this year play out and what do we need now what do we need to do now making plans maybe to get married or making plans to move something forward in an, emo an emotional situation to move it forward okay so i like i like this cup because and i want to show you I like this card and I want to show you why I like it. So in the past here, see those phases of the moon at the top? Okay. And also uh, January 1st, which I do believe is tomorrow, is the new full wolf moon. And there's wolves here. So I find this very, it's correlating very beautifully. Something new I feel is going to begin to happen, maybe even January 1st for some of you. Okay. But the comparison with this card also is look at those phases of the moon are also on this cup of love, this ace of cups. So there is some type of a new growth or spiritual change that's going to be happening to you guys in January okay it's going to make you feel very victorious like you're like things are beginning you'll start feeling like things are beginning to work out now this card is in the challenge position okay uh, I'm sorry I'm fixing this again I know someone commented and said oh that's so annoying when you do that but you know what I can't do anything about it I don't know why it does this and I'm a tarot card reader not an IT person I don't know how to fix cameras so the six of wands it's in the challenge but it's also in the benefit position so why is the victory card in the challenge position because it's saying for you to enjoy enjoy the moment enjoy the feeling enjoy what's coming when it comes enjoy the journey but don't get yourself like out of control <laughs> i guess to say don't like don't go out drinking because you're so damn happy every 10 minutes you know like i'm not saying that you guys are alcoholics or anything like that but take take this energy take this victory in stride right because just kind of wink and nod to yourself like yeah i deserve this yes i'm worth it yeah i know I don't, I don't need to go out and celebrate and overindulge because there's new love coming or, you know, I've met someone or my partner and I are going to fix things. Just kind of take it in stride like this was coming to me, you know, take it like that. Like, because I, I've worked my butt off. I've done all these things. I've done the right things. I've, I deserve this now coming to me and it's a benefit for you to act that way uh, or to re react or behave that way for this time period why it's a benefit i don't really know but that's really just the energy that's coming through okay you can celebrate you can be happy be joyous about it um you know just take it in stride a little bit um so interestingly enough the root of your reading is the devil card okay all right so i don't usually call out astrological signs um i want you to not really focus so much on the sign you don't need that much clarity about who you're dealing with if you want to find out how another person feels about you just connect with me for a personal reading and I'll tell you all about that person but um, you could be dealing with a Pisces you could be dealing with an Aries you could be dealing with a Capricorn you could be dealing with a Virgo Sagittarius Aquarius 
uh, so some of those some of those players could be involved in this situation. However, if none of those resonate, which it, it doesn't really, I don't feel that it matters too much. The devil card is whomever the person is, whether the, so if there's someone that you're dealing with currently, this person, you're in a bond with them. This is a never getting away from this person. And, you know, sometimes the devil card can come out. It really just depends on what messages I'm receiving. The devil card can represent addictions. It can re represent a lot of negative things, but it can also, it can re represent temptations. Um, but it can also represent some very beautiful things, you know, like that, that karmic energy where two people are just meant to be and they, they, they will not ever be away from each other. Even if 20 years go by, there's always going to be that connection between you and the other person. And there's this, a very deep, deep attraction. It's it, This card is not the lovers. The lovers card is a card where two people make a decision to come together, okay? This card is two people that have no choice they are just bound together for life and and so that could be someone that you're dealing with or this could be someone new that you could meet if you've been single that could come in that it's just going to be like that's it we're stuck this is it you'll just know okay what's crowning you here is the hermit so the hermit card is really just saying you need to in your mental space reflect 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 keep reflecting i feel like you were doing that in the past and as i said with the seven of pentacles here you're reevaluating still all where you've been and where you're heading and to keep that energy going okay um some of you may get this sense well now I can drop everything I'm doing I found new love and I'll just do whatever they're doing or I'll just keep going in that direction you know like I feel the hermit card is really telling you to stay the course of what you're doing with your life because the ace of cups is not a card of you know this is a potential this the ace is always a new beginning okay so this is not a this is just saying hey there's a new potential coming hey there's something great about to happen okay this is not a card that says oh we're we're here together for life this devil card is okay but this is about new emotions that are coming out now so very important for you to just keep reflecting stay grounded about uh, the direction you're still going in your life keep doing the things that you've been doing okay and what's coming up for you you have the emperor so some of you could be involved with um, an aries and this could be someone uh, if you're single and there isn't anyone in your life this could be this person who's an em who's the emperor person an aries person could be coming forward to um help make your life better okay the the emperor is someone who is older authoritative some of you this could be a boss uh single and i say single because i don't see an empress here and i feel that if the empress was here then that would be a married emperor but i don't she's do i see her no she's not here so this is a single male who could be older authoritative a boss um someone who just is in control of their life their life uh someone who's very structured not overly emotional he's not demanding but he is commanding okay and that's kind of his presence he just has a commanding presence now, interesting here, because I wanted to clarify, you have the unknown card. And the unknown card is a card that talks about, and uh, I believe Libra, the opposite sign to you, is Aries. The unknown card is the card about there's something going on about this person or about this situation, that there's something unknown about it. And I love when I pull that card, because then I like to pull a clarifying card to try to see what 
could be unknown. Okay. So this person you could have coming towards you may feel like they're in a stalemate situation. Um, they might be feeling, they might have this energy where they're, they're just in a situation that they can't get out of. Okay. No, I don't feel like they are partnered with someone and they can't get out of that. I just feel like this person, they're stuck in some way and they're on a journey trying to figure out how to unstick themselves from a situation. And so you will know that person by that energy that I just, that message that I just gave you, whomever they are. It doesn't have to be an Aries. Okay, so what is in the position of you and your advice? Take a chance. Take a chance. Take a risk. Okay. And and your advice is to make a decision to do that. Okay, about this person. To take a chance with them. Even if you know, this is someone that you're currently dealing with and you're trying and the relationship starts getting better and it gets renewed or repaired. It's okay to go ahead and move in that direction with that person, even though you're still reflecting, even though you're still living your life the way you want. The advice is with the two of wands to look at the situation, see it clearly. Okay. Ask yourself, is is this don't even ask yourself anything actually i don't I, I feel the energy is for you to not really i mean you need to take matters into your own hands and definitely take a risk in love because i feel like with this new with this ace of cups and this new potential coming for you this is going to be very beautiful okay um and of course the two of wands is a courageous risk taker <laughs> And the fool is a risk taker. So the energy abounds here about taking a chance, okay? And it also talks about partnership or collaboration with someone, okay? And making a choice about where you're going to invest your time, energy, and enthusiasm, but using your feelings as well about this situation. Try to be half heady, half heart about the situation. Now, so the other person... They have temperance. So again, as I was saying here, they're, they're, they're feeling like they're at a stalemate in something in their lives, and they are trying to balance that out, okay, with temperance here. You see how she's pouring water into that cup of fire, not so much to put the water out, not to temper anger or to close off, but to create that beautiful rainbow to create something new and beautiful and something in harmony so they're trying to find harmony in their life as well and they're juggling not two people I don't feel like that's happening here the two of pentacles is just you know someone who is trying to get themselves in this place where they're balancing work they're balancing oh gosh They could be balancing, maybe they have two separate places that they live, or maybe, you know, they live in, you know, maybe they travel a lot, because did I have, did I, did we say, no, we didn't have that, so maybe they, this person, they have a lot on their plate, and so that might be why they have that stalemate, because they, they have so much on their plate that they can't seem to make head headway they can't seem to get ahead you know um but this is someone who likes to have fun as well they rise to meet life's challenges okay um and they're very adaptable and they have the ability to go with the flow so for some reason you know as i was saying there's there they struggle all the time with making decisions and they tend to have to just sometimes let decisions be and just go with the flow now in your hopes and fears so you have the star card this is beautiful so you have a lot of hope you have I don't feel like this is a fear quite honestly I feel like you have a lot of hope and then you have the nine of cups so you know you're wanting these wishes to come forward for you your your reading is just so awesome it's so beautiful and I feel like 
you could also fear too that you could lose you know that this person may not be the wish come true that you thought or you think and and so that's why it's really important for you to keep reflecting and to not get too over the top about this person because you may see some flaws about them but that doesn't mean that the love potential is not there or that it can't happen it it definitely is here it's you're as i said attached to this person there's no get, going to be getting away from this person um but your outcome is the wheel of fortune and the queen of cups okay so if you're not dealing with an aries uh you could be dealing with a water sign and if that's the case this is in this person is in your life and they are in your favor now the, everything i feel like it's a stroke of luck the time is now okay things are coming to you this person could be bringing you some type of fortune so if it's not oh look and you have the king of cups also interesting so this i feel like you know i'm just gonna tell you you know even though you're a libra you know I, and as a matter of fact somewhere i read that the king of cups represents libra okay so this is two people this could be you and the other person where now it's a favorable time for things to work out for both of you it's a favorable time for taking the relationship to the next level or or you know meeting someone and having it turn into something very beautiful and very traditional um very spiritual as well so i you know I, I think your reading is just like amazing i mean you have so many beautiful cards and the only advice is for you to just really take a risk with this this month this time period this month because you I feel like you know where you are you're level-headed and you're logical but you you you're a partner person Libra you Libra likes to have a partner that's what Libra is about and whomever the person is that you are currently inquiring about right now as you're listening to this reading that person is going to be your partner um, it, it's going to eventually come to that where it's a favorable time for you two to be together in any capacity okay even if you're single and there isn't anyone whomever will be coming in for you it's a favorable time now to open yourself up and allow this energy to uh, come into your heart okay because i feel like in your past you've been working really hard and at whatever you've been doing um, now it's time for love in january it's time for love okay libra so that was your reading i hope you enjoyed that and uh Please leave me comments and let me know if this resonates for you. Thank you for the likes and subscribes. And do check out my website if you want to get those personal readings. Okay, Happy New Year and see you soon. Bye.